It's now time for Me and My Roku with host Peter Clay. Five dollars sling long. Incidentally, this is Peter. So we have a voicemail now from Peter. Pete, you are not. <laughs> not everybody sounds like Peter Clay. This is what it's all about, isn't it? <laughs> Peter Clay is here today. Wow. Oh, boy. Hey, hey, it's Peter Clay, and welcome to another spectacular edition of Me and My Roku. The show that's about me. Not in a vain way, just me and my Roku. How I experience my Roku, and I'm here to share it with you and see if you get ideas that you can take to your Roku or whatever streaming device you use and use it as you will. Take what you want, leave the rest. It's all good. I'm here to share. I live to give. Uh, anyway, as you recall, last week uh, there was no show. I was not here. I was celebrating my half-century birthday with a, a bunch of uh, fabulous people that I just needed to take a couple seconds to thank uh, profusely. I just, I have no words. <laughs> I, very few times in my life uh, am I speechless, humbled, or anything like that, and that was uh, over the last past week. When I was in Las Vegas uh, with 15 of my closest friends and the little misses, and we had a just a, a fabulous time. Uh, I couldn't believe the turnout. Uh, the people who said they couldn't make it, but yet decided to show up. Uh, family, friends, and everything else like that. So it was just spectacular, and it all culminated with uh, an evening what was supposed to be a quiet dinner for four. <laughs> it turned out to be about 17, and this big long table of people and. Uh, I had to come around and thank each one of them individually and all that stuff. And it was just a fabulous time. So I don't know where you are at in life, uh, but if you're reading, reaching that midpoint, that midlife uh, type of thing, and you're wondering what's it all about and, uh, you know, where do I go from here type of thing, uh, and then you have that happen, um, that tells you that you're doing something right in life. And I can't thank people uh, enough for that. Uh, so each and every one of them, if I have to spend the rest of my life uh, paying them back and all that stuff, uh, I'm good with that because uh, those are the people that I want to I, I want to be with. And some people just couldn't make it, you know, because that doesn't mean they're bad people. It's just that you know life got in the way and all that stuff and other things going on and that stuff. A lot of people followed on social media and stuff like that, and I thank them as well too. And uh, fabulous comments and and stuff like that too. So it was a good thing. And I I couldn't go on and thank anyone else if I if it wasn't for. Uh, the little missus and uh, my partner in crime uh, for what she did to help it put everything together and all that stuff too. And uh, you know, <laughs> she's that little voice on my shoulder that it keeps saying, you know, be sure to do this, be sure to do that. And I'd like to say, Hey, 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 I got this. Okay. Uh, but two thirds of the time I don't got this and I wouldn't have it if it wasn't for her. So thank her as well too. So, well, okay. Enough of that stuff. We got Roku stuff to get to. So let's, Get started. You're the one that I've been dreaming of. Okay, so I get back from Vegas, throw the bag on in my bedroom, put on a change of clothes, and get right back in my chair and my ottoman. And basically collapse, but put the Roku on and back to work and check things out see things that I missed and all that stuff. Good, good times. And then the very next day, another email, this time not about, oh, what's going away? What's going we, An offer. What do you know? I believe I've said this once before, is it's, uh, they can't miss you if you don't go away. So sometimes it's very important that you cancel things that you're not using or try different things along the way because they'll offer things back to you. And in this case, it was Sling. They were like, well, it's uh, their fifth anniversary, it's National Cord Cutting Day approaching or something like that. Something they made up. It's all good. And they were offering uh, Sling Orange or Sling Blue, your choice, plus five of their things for five days for five bucks. So what are you supposed to do? PlayStation View is gone. You don't have anything else. You're stuck with Hulu and Amazon Prime and all that stuff. So it's not like they didn't have enough there to rot your brain. And we had just finally finished up all seven seasons of the mentalist so what we're getting to do i forked out that credit card and five bucks for one month 
of Sling TV, uh, which was fine until the uh, five day trial wore out uh, for some of the other program that I thought could be essential. And then that's how they get you. They want you to spend ten dollars more for Sports Extra, or five dollars more for News Extra, or four dollars for Vsin, or five dollars for Latino, or something like that. So, good call by them. Good promo. Uh, they got us for the five bucks, uh, and that's all they're going to get from us right now. I think maybe I don't know. And then lo and behold, just before I started recording here, uh, I I had one day left to decide whether I'd want a two week free trial of YouTube TV. Now, I don't need it right now because I got sling for right now and all this stuff. But, hey, deal's there for two weeks before it goes away. So, yeah. So, I'm going to pick and choose there. I, I'm i leaning one way. I'll let you know what I do in a couple of weeks, uh, what's going to happen. But uh, I'm leaning one way. <coughs> and I empathize with with people who are struggling with this, I don't know what to get. And they just, you know, they just stick with this, you know, they just stare where they're at or don't do anything at all. And I, I get that because, you know, Hulu has this, but it doesn't have this. And YouTube TV has this, but it doesn't have that. And sling has this, but then you have to get this, this, and this, 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 and, uh, I believe I mentioned this once before my only issue with sling, this would be my service probably. Maybe because one, you can pick and choose what you want. There's some things you want and I don't need, you know, football stuff right now. So I could let go of that package right now. I don't need this or that. you know, you can pick and choose. I don't need ESPN right now. So I can go to sling blue, you know, type of thing. So the sling orange type of thing. So uh, everything is contained within sling. And sometimes that's hard to search for things. Like I want to go for the back catalog of food network. I have to go through sling instead of what I used to do with PlayStation view or YouTube TV is that I could use my login on their app. So for the Food Network app, I could go there, and then if I want the back catalog of Beat Bobby Flay, I can do that. Now I have to search for that within Sling. They're getting better about that, and it goes from episode to episode uh, type of thing. So it's good. Could be better. But winners, beggars can't be choosers, something along those lines. So Sling for now, Trial of YouTube TV, I thought about Hulu, but then it was missing a couple things. I had a gift card, so at least now I have regular Hulu to like June, you know, so on the regular package. So it's all good. So that's the latest stuff with me and my Roku. <laughs> You're the one that I've been dreaming of. Okay, kids, uh, gather around. Uh, as much as I said earlier in the program, I couldn't do this without my partner in crime and my friends and my family and all that stuff. That's kind of made me to who I am and all that stuff. Couldn't do the show without archive.org and I wouldn't want to, uh, they are fabulous and check them out today. Look at all the different things they're trying to do to make the internet not just usable, but better and all that stuff. And check them out today. It's a lots of, uh, it's the biggest online library out there. And not only it houses this podcast, but all the podcasts I've ever done and tons more books, music, podcasts, uh, literary history in the making, the the Wayback Machine. You can go back and go to RadioAffliction.com circa 2000 and see me with blonde hair. It's all there. It's archived in the Internet Archive at archive.org. Please consider supporting them. Uh, because they supported us for so long, and we thank them, and we love them, and by we, I mean me. Check them out today at archive.org. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, yeah. All righty. Uh, there was an incident this weekend, and it happens. We live in a digital world, and not everything's going to work all of the time. So some of the Roku apps... We're not working. You'd go to click on it, and it looks like it was going to load up, and then we just go back to the main menu. That happens from time to time. Happens with certain apps more than others type of thing. It's also a good clue that the app has gone 
has gone away type of thing. But in this particular case, since it was Hulu, <laughs> don't think they were going anywhere. Uh, but with the whole kerfuffle with Fox uh, last week, you don't know. So it turned out just to be a glitch. And uh, after a while, Roku became aware of it. And all you had to do was an update and everything was fine. So it wasn't the biggest deal in the whole wide world, but it showed up on Twitter and I noticed it and I didn't panic. Um, I cried maybe a, a little bit, but I was fine after a little while. So once again, w you can do what I do, and that is every day I do an update, even I need to or not, and then once a week, do a restart. Just refresh that puppy, power it down, turn it back on type of thing. And please, folks, do that with your phone, too, every now and then. Uh, power it off and then turn it back on again. Anyway, uh, side note there. So that happened, and it's fine, but it will happen again. So if you see that in the future, one, don't panic. Two, do an update. Three, just wait, and everything will be okay. So, uh, Comings and goings, uh, obviously, added Sling and YouTube TV. Uh, that was going to cause confusion on my menu. I like to keep things neat and tidy. So CW had to go. Didn't do anything wrong. I just don't use it enough. It's free and I can always go back to it whenever I want. So as soon as I decide which one of those I, I'm going to choose and now throw another ringer into it. A uh, Vidgo is also available. Another streaming service. Uh, that has things thirty nine ninety nine looks like there might be a free trial after that. So after the YouTube TV, I might try that as well. So, whoo ha! Lots of things going on. It's crazy uh, what's going on in the streaming world. Keep in touch. L follow Twitter. Follow Cord Cutters News. Cord Killers. Uh, whatever you want uh, out there. Cord Cutters. Whatever. Yeah, I know. There's a whole bunch out there. Uh, stay informed and explore. And keep on top of these things because they can change at any minute. Lots of things being added on it. So if you're just stuck in your lonely little Netflix world, well, okay, the world's passing you by. There's lots of stuff out there. Tubi is just growing every day. It's it's They're up to 25 million subscribers already. Pluto is this, I don't know what that's going to do. That's going to blow up because Viacom keeps throwing things at it and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. It might blow into another service actually even. We'll have to keep an eye on that. Should still be free, but you never know. Things change in this everlasting world. So, well, I think it's about time I got back to my Roku. Hope you're enjoying you and your Roku. Uh, I'll come back in a little while and just see how things are going. I'll keep you updated what I'm doing, how I'm getting along and all that stuff. Baseball season starting up. Uh, if you are an MLB TV subscriber, you have spring training games until March 1st. Then your season restarts. So... You, if you're patient, you can wait until opening day, uh, which is the 26th of March. Uh, T-Mobile Tuesday then will uh, have their, as far as I know, uh, that same program again. Well, you'll get free MLB TV. If uh, you want to do it on a monthly service, uh, Apple credits you can use if you have a gift card for Apple TV and all that stuff. So you can get that as well. Uh, otherwise, MLB TV and all the others, they will have a spring training game more than you can ever need if you're into that stuff. So... Anyway, I got to get back to that stuff. Uh, if you want more of the stuff, subscribe to the Me and My Roku podcast in various places. You ready for the list? Here it comes. Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Stitcher, Spreaker, Spotify, TuneIn, YouTube, iHeartMedia, and Radio.com. You can follow me on Twitter at Radio Affliction. Say hello. It's great. Or if you want to say hello personally. If you have any questions or comments, you can email me at me and my Roku podcast at gmail.com. Hope you enjoyed today's show. Thanks, everyone, again for letting me take a week off. Uh, I'm back. I will, if anyone is thinking about it, Vegas, April, late April, early May, going back uh, for a bowling tournament. Uh, that's my reason, at least. Do I need a reason? <laughs> let's go to Vegas. Let's go. Anywho, we'll see you next time, and I'll be back with you real soon.